in the name of Allah the Compassionate the Merciful. Dear students hope everyone is fine and enjoying good health. Dear students we have studied previously about soil, air pollution, ozone layer and smog. Today we will discuss acid rain. Listen to the lesson attentively and note down important points discussed. Learning Objectives At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to explain what causes acid rain, how acid rain affects the environment, what can be done to reduce acid rain. Dear students, acid rain is that rain which contains small amount of acids formed from acidic gases sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides present in polluted air. What causes acid rain? Burning of fossil fuels and release of waste gases like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide from factories into the air causes acid rain. Sulfur dioxide dissolves in water to produce sulfuric acid, a strong acid. Dear students, here I will describe how acid rain affects the environment. Dear students, acid rain damages statues and buildings made of limestone or marble. It attacks the cement that holds buildings together. It also corrodes metals, weakening structures made of them. Dear students, the ecological effects of acid rain are most clearly seen in aquatic environments, such as streams, lakes, and marshes where it can be harmful to fish and other wildlife. It makes lakes acidic. As it flows through the soil, acidic rain water can leach aluminum from soil clay particles and then flow into streams and lakes. The more acid that is introduced to the ecosystem, the more aluminum is released. Aluminium is poisonous to aquatic life. It kills fish and birds that eat them. It causes death of trees and other plants. Their leaves drop off and their roots are damaged so they cannot absorb water. Acid rain also removes minerals and nutrients from the soil that trees need to grow. Oh. Dear students, now that you know why acid rain is a problem, you might be wondering what's being done to control it. Regulations and new technologies are helping to reduce acid rain. Many modern power stations that burn fossil fuels have scrubbers which remove some of the harmful gases from the smoke. In many countries modern cars, lorries, buses, and trains are fitted with catalytic converters to convert harmful gases to less harmful and exhaust gases. This piece of equipment has been used for over 20 years to reduce the amount of nitrogen oxides released by cars. Some new cars can also use cleaner fuels, such as natural gas. Dear students, ozone O3 is a poisonous, unstable form of oxygen O2 that is formed naturally in the ozone layer from atmospheric oxygen by the exposure to ultraviolet light. Dear students, in today's lesson you learned some new words. You are required to find the meanings. Words are Sulfuric Acid Catalytic Converter Scrubber Ecosystem Dear students watch this video again to better understand the topic. Solve the attached worksheet to test your concept. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you and have a nice day.